the uh, next hollow organ of the digestive system that we'll look at is stomach. And uh, the stomach is characterized by these large fingers or folds uh, called rugi of the inner wall. And so let's look at the layers of the, in this would be the internal or inside layer. This is the lumen or cavity of the stomach. And so this layer uh, down to here would be the mucosa. And then uh, folded in the center here is the submucosa and it extends up into this fold so we'll follow it all the way down uh, where the fold flattens out at its base and now we can see the submucosal layer here and then the thick smooth muscle layers uh, can be three and usually are and here's then the thin outer of serosal layer, serosal layer here. So if we go back now and look at the uh, mucosa, we see that the mucosa is made up uh, of the epithelium and the lamina propria and the muscularis mucosa. And if we go down and look at the epithelium, we see that it is characteristic of the digestive tract. It's a columnar type epithelium. And uh, so we'll hunt around here and see if we can find some examples of the columnar epithelium. And uh, this, yes, here's columnar epithelium should show us some pretty good column shaped cells. Here's the columnar epithelium with the basement membrane here and then the nuclei in at uh, the same level in the same plane and the tall thin columnar epithelium. Uh, at the uh, bottom of these, these are called gastric pits between the smaller folds and at the bottom of this gastric pit, uh, a gastric gland opens. And if we go into the gastric gland and look on high power, we see some unique cells that characterize the stomach. And these are identifying key cells of the stomach. This would be a parietal cell that produces acid. And these would be uh, enzymatic cells uh, or the chief cells that produce enzymes. So these purple uh, cells are chief cells and the pink plate-like cells are parietal cells of the stomach. Uh, 